Hi, welcome to the Pink Moon Tarot. I am Nikki, the Pink Moon Tarotist, and I'm here to give a general reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign of Aquarius. Now, these are general readings, so not everything will resonate with you, so please do feel free to pick up anything that does and leave the rest behind. And if you know your Moon, your Rising, or your Venus, then you can check those out. They will all be linked in the description box below. Now, I am sorry that these are a little bit late in coming out this month. It is because I had the flu and I was very poorly for about three and a half weeks. So I'm doing them as soon as I can. But there is still plenty of November left to see what's going on in November. Now, while I'm preparing the cards, if you would like to like, share and subscribe to the channel, that would be very much appreciated. Your support, as always, is so very much appreciated by me. It really helps me to get my message out to those that may not ordinarily see it. Okay, so Aquarius, your overall energy. Oof. <laughs> your overall energy is one of something sneaky going on. We have the Seven of Swords. Mm. need to watch out watch out this month watch out for those sneaks those people that are being less than honest with you keep your eyes peeled let's see what that's all about let's go into it so Aquarius mm. okay oof another seven hmm You got two kings, two sevens, two fours. Aquarius, November. What do they need to know? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. So, well. I can't say as it's particularly obvious where this Seven of Swords energy is coming from, but there is something, something that is maybe not so much deceptive, but just something that needs to come to light, something that needs to be revealed this month. You need to uncover the truth behind something. That's what I'm getting from this. Rather than sneakiness and underhandedness, I'm getting the truth needs to come out, okay? You need to reveal the truth. And it may be the truth within you. It may be the truth that someone else is, is hiding from you. I'm getting more the sense of being true to you, okay? Getting, mm. we're starting off with the four of wands in reverse. Now the four of wands, when it's in the upright, this is my card of, you know, celebration. Um, it's it's the wedding card. It's the, you know, taking things to the next level. It's the 1111, the going through the portal, the, the, you know, the joyous celebration card. It's the fiery energy of wands um, coupled with um, getting together and having reason to celebrate. Uh, when it's in the reverse, it shows me that there, it's not that there's not a reason to celebrate here, but something is askew and it has to do with perception, perception, not deception. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, you actually have three sevens here. Yeah, there's a lot of fantasy, mystery, uncertainty and stuff going on, you know, in the background. And it's causing this, this feeling of not being able to exhale, you know, not being able to celebrate because something needs to come to light. Something needs to be revealed. Now... Next to that four of wands in the reverse is the seven of wands. 
And the seven of wands, this is that need to center yourself, the need to ground yourself. You can see here, you know, she's um, she's grounded, she's meditating, she's lighting up her heart chakra and her solar plexus chakra there. And she is, you know, she is going within to, to really gain that sense of balance, that sense of identity. Because like I say, sevens, they're to do with fantasies, dreams, things that are not quite as they seem. And the other seven you have here is the seven of cups. So you really do have something that is needing to needing to reveal itself, you know. Um, you might need to do a bit of sleuthing, my lovely Aquarius, to discover what's going on. Now, the Seven of Wands, you know, like I say, this is it's important for you to go within, for you to center yourself, for you to ground yourself, for you to connect with your creative energy and not be afraid to let your light shine, not be afraid to let others see that. The Seven of Cups is about those difficult choices, that that indecision, that what do I do, How, you know, what's real, what's not real, not knowing the difference between fantasy and reality here. There's a lot of this energy going on and it's echoed even more with the card that's in the middle, which is the two of swords, feeling like you're at a crossroads, feeling like you have a decision to make, you know, do I go this way or do I go this way? I always think of the scarecrow in the Wizard of Oz when I do that. Anyway, so yeah, you know, <laughs> which way do you go? It's making that decision. It's, 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 um, it's feeling like you need to discover something in order to make that decision. There is something that is bubbling under the surface here that is causing you some discombobulation. And I'm really getting that sense of this need to reveal, need to uncover the truth, need to, to garner some information in order to make that decision easier and the thing is you're missing something that's right in front of you on this we have the four of cups next to that two of swords above the seven of cups there we have the four of cups and the four of cups is you know it it's something that is really obvious right in front of you look at this the rainbow shooting right out there but she can't see it because she's looking in the wrong direction what are you missing? What aren't you seeing, Aquarius? What are you blind to at the moment that is not revealing itself to you? You know, you do need to, hmm. I'm gonna say you need to allow yourself to dream. I'm not seeing a need, I don't know actually, I mean the grounding with the wands, the seven of wands there, that centering, it's centering, not grounding, it's centering yourself, getting a sense of self, getting a sense of what's real and what's not, not missing what's in front of you. Mm. But then we have this page of cups. The Page of Cups comes in with an offer of love. He's youthful energy. He's, you know, pages are messengers. They are the, the youths. He is um, the dreamer, the, the one who dares to, to open his heart. And I get the sense that this is, this is a message that's for you, Aquarius, to open your heart and, and notice the love around you. And yeah, there is definitely something that is under the surface here and I just can't see it. Maybe you will know what it is when it comes along. The interesting thing is you also have two kings here. Now kings... They are the energy of, you know, they, they're the completion. They're the, the, 
the top of the food chain you know the the like i am in charge i i am accomplished i have achieved and these two you know they kind of go against the 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 unknown somewhat because the king of cups he's very intuitive he's very much a go with the flow he's in tune with things he's love he's he's expansion and the king of pentacles he's to do with home life and family and he's very satisfied he he has all the money he needs he's he's very well established he's very secure he's very generous very fatherly you know there's a lot of security and love in these two cards which kind of goes at odds with everything else that's there but having said that maybe this is what is right in front of you that you're not seeing because this one was under this one interesting as well that you had all the cups together you had this one, this one, and this one, like this. So it's very interesting that these emotions, you know, you're, you're missing the point. You're missing the point of going with the flow. Um, it's not about ignoring stuff around you. It's about trusting your intuition, those gut instincts, and recognizing when you're trying to paddle upstream, when you're trying to go against the flow, recognizing that and knowing when to, to let go and to just go with the flow also love and family and security in here which are obviously playing into your feelings of safety and non-safety you know this is something to do with your home life very much so that you're needing to make some decision on that you're needing to get to the bottom of that you're needing you know the fact that this is the marriage card this is the love, you know, the offer of love. This is home and security. This is love and family. It's, it's just, this is, this is something, something around your home, Aquarius, something about your love, your life, your family. Um, something there is not being seen and you need to recognize it you need to see it you need to focus your energy on the positive aspects or maybe there's something you need to clear away although there's no eights here hmm there is a three three of wands three of wands is underneath the four of wands and the king of pentacles now the three of wands is that waiting for your ship to come in if this had turned into this it would be you got your manifestations you got your stuff coming in you got what you wanted and now you're celebrating now you have reason to celebrate but it didn't it turned into this you're still waiting you're still waiting for those ships to come in you're still waiting for something to um to come into being that you are you have been working towards you have been wanting you have been waiting for you've been wishing and hoping for the thing is have you done anything to actually work towards the thing that you want the physical thing have you done a physical thing to work towards the thing that you want or have you just been wishing and hoping and praying you know um because if there's no inspired action behind your desires then you will just keep floating around in the ether in that sort of like 
well, I, I've been working on my manifestations. I've wrote it down a hundred times. I've, I've said it a, a thousand times, you know, I've prayed on it. I've, I've wished on it. I've done my moon ceremonies. Yes, but have you done anything actually to activate it in terms of a practical step towards achieving your goals? That's what may be missing for some of you that inspired action. But there is something you're missing. Something you are missing. Okay, I want to know if we can get any more on what's missing here. So let's see this. Yeah, let's clarify this Four of Cups. Oh, okay. Get the Knight of Swords. Knights are to do with movement, they're to do with, you know, the Knight of Swords, he comes rushing in to save the day. Um, he's your knight in shining armour. Maybe you're missing your knight in shining armour. Uh, but you're missing, you're missing some knowledge here. You know, swords are our energy, they're to do with knowledge, wisdom inspiration, um, communication, you know, and the Knight of Swords, he tends to rush in. Um, have you rushed past something and missed it? Do you need to take a couple of steps back to find out what it is you've missed? It's a lot of sword energy. A lot of cup energy as well. So let's take a look at that Seven of Cups. Like I say, the Seven of Cups is a difficult choice. It's choosing between fantasy and reality, not knowing the difference. Um, making that difficult choice. Okay, it doesn't want to clarify. It does not want to clarify the Seven of Cups. No, it doesn't want to clarify that. Okay, let's see if we can clarify the four of wands. Take that as a yes. Two of cups in the reverse. Two of cups is your soulmates, your partnerships, your coming together, your union, your support. When it's in the reverse, this is where there's an issue something with your partner, with someone who is very close to you. There's, there's an issue there with your partner, Aquarius. And it may be something you need to address, you know, um, because it's leaving you feeling very discombobulated. And we also got the Knight of Pentacles, which came out on the side. Missing the details, missing, yeah, missing the details. The, the devil is in the details and you're missing the details. You're missing the signs. Hmm. I'm not going to delve any deeper into this because otherwise it's going to get very, like, it's going to get very personal and, you know, this is a general reading. So I don't want to make it about one person, but it's a very odd one, Aquarius. If this is resonating with you and you want to delve deeper, then by all means, do contact me for a personal reading. My um, website link is in the description box below. Okay, so we have the Dragon's Jewel. Inner conflict, morality, conscious choice. There it is. There it is. Inner conflict. It's, that's exactly what I'm getting from this. This is exactly what's going on. It is that, you know, what's real, what's not real, what's true, what's not true. Can you be honest with yourself? Can you be honest with others? You know, there is a real conflict going on, an internal conflict here. The dragon's jewel. Hmm. 
Okay. I feel like I need... Hmm, what do I need? Hmm. Yeah, well, let's take a map card. I don't know if they're going to let you have a map card because maps show direction and this might give you a little bit of a clue as to what to do next, where to go, what's going on. But let's have a look and see. Aquarius. Okay, we do have one. You get the card of solitude. Okay. So solitude, obviously being on your own, um, taking time out, taking time to be with yourself. I'm going to read you exactly what it says in the book because this needs the exact thing. Okay. So it says, I am comfortable in my own skin as I detach to replenish my soul. Meditation is required. That's our seven of wands, meditation. Um, when you receive the solitude card as a sign, empty your mind of superfluous thoughts and allow stillness to flow through you, sorry, through your whole being. This is not an adventurous time to ask, no, sorry, it's not an advantage, I really need my glasses on. It's not an advantageous time to ask questions or push forward in any way. Rather, it is a period for conscious retreat. What's called for now is to step back, take your focus off your life and your troubles. You'll be surprised by how things sort themselves out once you've replenished your energy by means of much needed rest and time out. Yeah, I, I do get that, actually. I do, I do get that because there is something that you are just not seeing right now. And there's, so there is that need to take that step back, to go within, to, to pay attention to you, to the, to what's going on around you. Let me take a healing with the angels. Ask for my Aquarius, thank you dreams pay attention to your dreams this is why the the fantasy cards the dreams the the not knowing the difference between there's some you know answers come to us in our dreams you know dreams are very revealing if you can remember your dream you can pretty much um guarantee that there's a message in there for you somewhere so pay attention to your dreams Take a healing with the fairies. And that was some bad shuffling. Let's try that again. What do my Aquarius need to know. Thank you. Mm. See the beauty. See the beauty. Now this is looking looking at others through the eyes of beauty, looking at yourself with the beauty, seeing the beauty around you, appreciating what, what is around you. That's that four of cups energy, you know, not noticing what's right in front of you. What is the beauty around you? And yeah, there is some healing needed around family harmony as well. And that's definitely the sense I'm getting here. This is some, this is a family situation. Now, families can be all kinds of people. You know, it doesn't have to be blood related relatives. It doesn't have to be someone that you necessarily live with. But I kind of get the sense that it probably is. Um, but yeah, the family harmony is the issue here. This is the thing that needs your attention <clears throat> okay I needs healing well, that does not make sense mm. okay 
consult an expert. More information is needed, contact someone with expertise in this area. Okay, so whatever you're struggling with, whatever you are unsure about, whatever you can't kind of see, you know, and it may be for some of you, it may be like a, a legal matter even that you're going through that's, that's affecting the family, maybe buying a home or something that you need to really check those details on. Get a solicitor get a property lawyer to look at those things, you know. But there's definitely something here that needs your focus, needs your attention, but also needs, you need help with it from an expert that can help you, okay. So consult an expert, there's nothing wrong with consulting an expert. Okay, so Aquarius, a bit of a, a kerfuffle for you this month a bit of a um you know a bit of a month of unsettled energy and um you know it's not all doom and gloom it's not like you know it's not like everything is is bad here it's just that there's there's a way to pour oil on troubled waters here and you need to find that way and you need to take it easy on yourself as well and really take time to to find your balance within as well you know practice some love and love to yourself and a bit of honesty with yourself as well okay okay until next time, if you would like to um, delve deeper, you can contact me via my website. The link is in the description box below. Otherwise, please do remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel. And I wish you all the best. If this resonates with you, then good luck with your month of November. I hope that all goes well. Namaste.